In this video, we're going to look at how to do a self-test on a ProLink router, otherwise known as a PLR. PLRs can be found in billboard displays, Galaxy Pro GP3s, and even our full video DVX line of displays. PLRs and Galaxy Pro displays are typically located behind the second module up in the first column. In billboard displays and DVX, the location will vary, so be sure to check your manual or drawings to find out where the PLR is located. The first step is to remove the module directly in front of the PLR. Now that I've got the module removed, the next step of the process is to hook up the cables to create the loopback to do the self-test. To do that, take one of the SATA cables and loop the two jacks on the PLR to, to, their, to themselves. Next, you want to loop back the two fiber ports. You can reach over and grab the, one of the fiber cables hooked to the player in the module next to it and use that to create your loop back. Once you've got your cables connected, you need to cycle power to the PLR. Just pull the power connector wait for about 20 or 30 seconds and then plug it back in. When you boot up the PLR you'll notice that it shows 888, that's your seven segment test, and then it shows the letters TST meaning that it's in test mode. This will show for about two to three minutes until the self-test is complete and then it will hopefully show PAS for pass. Now that the test is completed, you can show that you can see that it shows a PAS, meaning all tests passed, and this component is good. Now I'll show you a failed test mode. So in this test mode, you can see that I'm receiving an error message. It's showing me ERR, and then it should show me a code after that of F05 and F06. So what I could do at this point is go ahead and give the customer service help desk a call, let them know that I did a PLR self-test, give them those codes, and I'd be able to find out if this is a, some, something that I can fix in the field or if I'm going to need to send a part in for replacement or repair. Mm -hmm.